as a black gay guy that's also operating in the media space, you know, Don Lemon is pretty much the only person that I can look to that's actually navigating this space in a really big way. So I've never kind of like rooted for him to fail. I know that a lot of the MAG influencers and a lot of the people on the right um, are sort of celebrating why the show is not doing well. I'm going to tell you exactly why it's not doing well, but also like, I don't, I, I, I don't, just like I don't hate Don Lemon. You know, I, I think I see him in a way that's different than a lot of the other people that are sort of right-leaning see him. But anyway, when you look at all of this stuff, it is clear to me as somebody that is nowhere near as successful as Don Lemon. I mean, that that's he's made it pretty much as big as you can make it in that space. And he also got cashed out to the tune of, I believe, four, uh, $25 million by CNN to basically go away, right? They paid out his contract. That's as big as you get. But just because you're that big in this mainstream media space and you've had the mainstream media battery in your back for about 10, 15 years because, you know, you got Time Warner and CNN promoting you, giving you that platform for decades and decades and for decades or at least 15 years at this point, like you can't buy that amount of PR. But that doesn't make you relevant to this space. And I'll tell you why. What this space demands more than anything else is people want to know who you really are. They don't want to know a version of you. They don't want to know the role that you're playing on CNN, where you're on CNN anchoring for a decade and you've got Jeff Zucker in your ear telling you what to say. And what people don't understand about the cable news space is that like when you're anchoring and you're on that set, that show is so tightly produced. You've got your guests. You know what questions you're going to ask. Like You guide an interview in a certain way, and sometimes if you're a good interviewer and you're listening to people, new questions will come up as you listen to what they're saying. But you've got a lot of backing when you're playing that mainstream media game, you don't have that backing when it's just you and a camera in this digital media space. Even though I don't know what kind of team of producers that he has, you don't have that. I think that as his mind, like as those sort of mainstream media wheels are turning in his head, he knows how to get headlines from that interview.